Memphis honors only the greatest in Bluff City music history with a brass note on Beale Street. Don and Larry Nix certainly fit that mold. On behalf of the Beale Street Walk of Fame, it's our honor to uh, honor um, Don Nix with a Beale Street note. Don and Larry Nix grew up in Memphis and found a passion for music from an early age. Don says they used to sneak an old transistor radio into their room. And we would listen to it on the covers at night till about 12 o'clock. <laughs> And we both had a great love for R&B and blues and even pop music, you know. That love would launch the brothers into two very successful careers in the music industry. Don began his career playing saxophone for the Marquis, which also featured Duck Dunn and Steve Cooper. The band composed many songs, but Last Night became Don's first big hit. He went on to produce many hit songs with many great artists working with Leon Russell, George Harrison of the Beatles, and Gary Lewis and the Playboys, among many others. He was in the Marquees in the early days. He worked with George Harrison on concert for Bangladesh. I mean, and, and hundreds and hundreds of projects in between. Back in the early 60s, as rock and roll was beginning, people didn't believe that the genre would last, but that didn't concern Don and Larry. Well, you, you didn't know it was the precedence of rock and roll. You didn't know, people said it was not gonna last a year. And so you just live by day by day. That's what I did. I live hour by hour, and I still do. Don wrote and produced his most notable song, Going Down, in his apartment across the street from Overton Park. And he has an interesting story on how he came up with some of the lyrics. Where'd you get the insp inspiration for it? Uh, well, I had a little, gone, gone, gone. I'm going to write something to that, and I couldn't think of anything. And I lived in this loft, loft apartment. It was 50 bucks a month. It was across, this was in 50, no, 69, 68, 69, somewhere. And it had these big old windows in the back. And there was no air conditioning. And it was hot, so I would sit in that window and prop my foot up and write. And one night I was doing that, and I set the guitar down, trying to think of words, and I. I actually fell asleep. I'd been up for about three days, probably. And people emptied their garbage down. I mean, boxes, you know, they were, this was built above businesses. And that day they had, to, had a bunch of deliveries and all these cardboard boxes were in there, drums, big drums. And I went to sleep, and before I knew it, I went out. I tried to catch myself, and I threw my something out. But that was it, got my big feet in the window, got my head on the ground. Nobody understands that unless I explain it to them. Yes, I got my big feet in the window. I got my head on the ground. Don's brother Larry couldn't make the ceremony tonight due to family matters. Larry was an icon in his own right. And Larry Nix, I mean, uh, the master, he, he ran a mastering studio, first for Stax and then for Arden. And, and here's all you have to say about that. Two Academy Awards, 16 Grammy winners, 178 gold and platinum albums. Fantastic. Uh, this has been a great day. The only, the only bad part about it was my brother, could, Larry, couldn't be here. Uh, this note is to both of us, so. Uh, it's really, you know, sad and glad day. I really am honored by it, though, and can't wait to see it in the ground. The Knicks brothers, leaving a physical legacy that will last forever. Outside the Stacks Museum, I'm Caleb Hilliard.